Bachman Trains has reintroduced their 242T locomotive that was first placed on sale the early part of 1994. The new offering from Bachman is available in four versions, including a British version as well as three Americanized versions. Inside the box you will find a bag of parts, some instruction manuals, as well as some smoke fluid. You will find a warranty registration card as well as your warranty in several languages and a lot of detailed information about the unit itself. There are some schematics that will help you with installation of DCC as well as exploded diagrams of the product and maintenance information. Inside the big bag of parts that's included with this unit are separate smaller bags of different items. You will find the standard Bachman people inside as well as a different smokestack and there are some additional couplers inside as well and if you use hook and loop couplers you'll also have the ability to swap those out on this engine. The new version sold under the Big Hauler series is greatly improved over the engine offered in 1994. The level of detail approaches that of a Spectrum model and it contains a totally new drivetrain and is DCC ready. We were very impressed with the quality of this unit. There were a lot of details in regards to things like transfer pumps and the steam cylinders and the way that they detailed pipes running in and out of the cab. You usually have to spend a lot more on a model in large scale to get this detail. The detailing, of course, on the paint and the lettering is very, very crisp. And you'll find that this unit will fit in very, very nicely with the rest of your steam engines that you may already have. The engine has an all-weather cab with working doors and with working windows. And we have that 10-foot rule in large scale, but here it's more like the 10-inch rule as this is a very good-looking engine. There's detail inside the cab. It's a little hard to see, but if you do look, you can see that it has the same type of detailing that you might find on the Bachman Anniversary 10-wheeler big haulers. There are ready-to-go couplers, and there's even a roof on the top that slides back and forth. If you look, you'll see that the drive components on the wheels are made out of metal. The only thing that's plastic is the outside frames, and they are very substantial and highly detailed as compared to the 1994 version. I think you'll be happy with what you get. The only switches on the unit are in the front, and you have a switch to turn the smoke off or on. And then you also have a switch in the front that will control the polarity of the engine as well as giving you an opportunity to just turn the whole thing off. There's not a lot of detail on the bottom, but if you take a close look, you'll see an interesting control for the back coupler and the way the springs are used to center it. Let's take a look and see how the unit actually operates. We've set it up on some rollers, and what we're going to do is we're going to put it up to about 12 volts so we can see how many amps it draws, how smooth it starts, and how well it runs. Once we get it up to 12 volts, we are going to go ahead and bring it up to 18 volts. I know that you won't be running your unit this fast on your railroad, but it gives us an idea of how the unit runs at 12 and then at 18 volts.
taken the unit off of the rollers and put it directly on the track to see what the minimum voltage is to make it roll. And we were very impressed that with about one and a half volts, we were able to actually get the engine to start rolling. And it was very, very smooth. There is only one light on this unit, and that's a headlight, and it uses an orange glow, not a bright white LED. There is no light inside of the cab. And the unit also has a smoke unit. Now this is a standard Bachmann smoke unit, and so you don't want to overfill it. You just want to put in several drops, and you'll find that if the voltage is a little higher, you'll get a little bit better smoke. The unit runs very, very nicely. It's about 15 and 3 quarter inches from coupler face to coupler face and about 13 and 3 quarter inches from footboard to footboard. It's about 4 inches wide and it's about 5 and 7 8 inches from rail head to the top of the funnel stack and it weighs about 4 pounds 2 ounces. The uh, engine works very well and we were very impressed with how slow we could move the unit and how we could line it up just perfectly for the shot that we wanted to take. In the instruction there's also some information on how to lubricate the gears and bearings. This unit doesn't contain a, a DVD that will show you how to do this but the instructions are pretty clear. There are six screws that you unscrew and then of course you'll be able to then lubricate the unit. It's always best to lubricate the unit before you run and before you stow it away for the winter, if you have winter. We use XL gear oil and we used it very sparingly as there was already some gear oil on the unit. We put some on the top brass gear as well as the gear that it connected to. And then we went ahead and put the unit's bottom back on, and it was real easy to do, so there's no excuse not to take care of it. We then used some XL Heavy Oil so that we could oil the drivers and all the moving parts on the wheels of the engine. Make sure that you look for parts that move, and then you can give it a quick test, and if you missed something, that you didn't realize was moving, you can go ahead and put some oil back on there. Just don't overdo it. A little bit of oil goes a long way. If you'd like to read a detailed article all about this new Bachman engine, come to lsol.com. JD Miller has done an exclusive outside in, actually taking the unit completely apart so you can see everything inside. We think this is a nice little unit for the price point, and I think you'll be happy owning one of these and using it on your railroad. Look for some additional videos that we're going to have in regards to this unit working with some of the Emily coaches.